here. These are all silicone molds with shiny sides on the inside, which means they'll be um, shiny when, the, when they come out of the molds. I have these cool letters, so I'm going to do an A, a B, and then maybe an S, you know, common uh, last names. I have popsicle sticks to stir. Um, this is a silicone stirring stick. Um, it's good to mix resin with so you don't get bubbles. I have this cool picking up tool that I use um, to pick up small gems and stuff. Wait a second, I forgot the gems. Okay. I'm sorry to hear my voice already so loud. Let's see. Oh, no, the gems went. Oh, well, we can do without them. I am going to be using uh, Mr. Nola's glitter. And also my glitter addiction glitter. Trying to get better lighting here. There we go. Um, I'll be using KS resin. It's a UV resin, which means um, your uh, your art won't fade over time. It um, 45 minutes working time, so I can take my time. I got some cups to measure my stuff with. This is Iberville by Mr. Nola's. It's a pretty color. This is Recollections uh, from Walmart. It's a pretty chunky holographic. This is Florida Lee by Mr. Nola's. It's a pretty um, light sparkly blue. Kind of hard to see, but it's a pretty pale blue. Oops. I have these uh, birthday cakes by My Glitter Addiction. It's a cool um, polka dot neon color um, spots, so that'll be fun to work with. I got 91% alcohol to spread my molds and my cups before I start mixing resin, get any funky junk out of them. For this resin, we mix um, one to one, so one part resin to one part hardener. I should have cleaned all these before I started. These are new molds, so gotta clean them first. And um, I have these little eyelet hooks that we'll use to um, stick in the mold um, after they're semi-set um, so that we can hook them to a keychain. This is uh, Pearlex Micro Pearl um, Mica Powder. I'm going to use it to kind of go with this and give it a pretty shine um, swirl effect. Maybe a P too. P is common. Maybe M too. We'll see how much resin we have. Um, my resin's been sitting in a, a warm um, bath in the bathroom sink, so that's ready to go. And um, obviously nitrile gloves um, are solvent resistant, so always use safety. Sorry nurses, I need them for my um, stuff. And then I have these lens wipe cleaning cloth things. Um, they're good with, um, they don't leave uh, fibers behind, so they're good to clean with. And then I have a perk of being a diabetic. I have these syringes that I'll use um, to and I took out the needle safely and I poked a, hole, a bigger hole. I'm going to use this to put the resin in this tiny little thing. So we'll see how that goes. It's the first time I'll try that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started mixing my resin. We do um, one part um, A. So it's so quiet in here without the fan on. I want to mix a good amount because I want to have enough to fill all the molds at once. And as long as you have equal parts, I uh, should be fine. Let me get this alcohol swab. <laughs> and A, so it should be fairly easy to measure this better. It's more liquidy, I guess. And if I'm not talking loud enough, somebody let me know. It's a little bit more B than A, so it's a bit more. So always pour, um, I think it's, yeah. always pour your resin into your hardener. Use a popsicle stick at first. Let's spray this alcohol. Wipe it off. And if you're joining, say hi so I know you're here. Oh shoot. So here it goes. Always spray the sides so you get all of the resin 
into a hardener because if you don't have any mix, mix equal parts 100% correctly, you will get sticky, mushy resin and it won't, it won't ever cure correctly. So we're scraping and scraping and scraping some more. And these cups are kind of squishy, so they got little nooks and crannies where it doesn't get stuck. notice you get to change your gloves very often because this stuff gets everywhere and of course if you know me I'm super messy all right so we'll leave that because we're going to um, mix it back into there and spray my gloves with some alcohol get some of that ribbon off Bam. and every little tiny fuzz gets in here and it messes up your resin so be very careful stir very slowly scrape the sides And you just stir until it's clear. So I'll raise this up so you can see better. I start out with a popsicle stick, whoops, and then I usually um, end up using the silicone stick uh, at the end when, after I switch to the second container, just so that uh, some people claim that the wood in the stick caused your resin to have more bubbles, but I don't know how much of that I actually believe. And the less you move, uh, pick up your stick out of the resin, the less bubbles you'll have. So we're stirring and stirring and stirring. And it really doesn't matter a whole lot for, for the um, resin molds because you're gonna be mixing glitter and mica powders and whatever else into your resin. So we can stir a little bit faster. And I have a lighter in here somewhere and a, uh, my heat gun to pop the bubbles that come up from after stirring. So I'm gonna scrape my stick, scrape my glove, and it looks like I got a little bit of something. So I'm gonna switch my gloves off. Put on a new pair. And voila. These are the small size, which uh, I love because they're super tight to my hands. All right. Just got a little bit of stick on it still. to get more pieces to the sides. Get rid of that little pieces. Ouch. All right, so now we're gonna pour it into this container. This helps the chemical reaction of the resin and it, um, makes, it helps you make sure that everything's mixed really, really, really well. And I'm slow sometimes, especially when I'm talking, so this will help um, me to, uh, this resin has a 45 minute working time, so I can kind of talk and be slow and still have enough time to get everything inside of my molds. So just a recap, we're gonna do um, one of the circle uh, keychain molds and I'm gonna put something on it, maybe a food quote or whatever, and then uh, one bracelet mold and then a few letter letters and we'll see how that turns out. All right, that should be good enough, stack those. I'm going to squish off my silicone stick. Spray some alcohol in there, guys. Wipe that off so I don't get all the fuzzies. Okay, and then since this has been removed, I'm going to set it aside and finish up with another popsicle stick. So, again, scraping the sides, making sure we get everything. And as you can see, it's getting super clear. Scraping the bottom. And I turned the air up about 75 degrees in here. Uh, kind of warm, uh, no fan because we don't want any fuzzies or carpet poofs or dust bunnies to get um, in the way and fall into my resin because then you get these little uh, what we call fish eyes and it's not fun it's hard to get out you got to sand them down and everything and it's all around a pain in the butt so and 
And the more resin you mix at a time, the bigger the container you'll need. Um, since I'm not mixing it too terribly much at this time, it's okay to leave it in a smaller container because we're going to separate them depending on the flavors and whatnot. So. And if no one ends up watching, I'll just post it to my Facebook, I mean, to my YouTube channel. Um, and I have a few dedicated followers there, so you'll find more stuff. All right, there's a few micro bubbles, but nothing that I uh, can't fix. So let's uh, finish that. And that's it. Change my gloves again because we want to start messing with the glare. hang out for just a minute, which will let the bubbles rise to the top so we can pop them and we'll take it from there. So I already cleaned out my mold. Again, this is um just a circle little resin mold. Um, we're going to, if I can get all the crap out of it, we're going to fill it most of the way full um, and then see what we can do with some cool effects. And the thing I love about 91% alcohol is that it dries fast, so you don't have to worry about soap and water constantly um, just messing up your stuff. Letting that hang out and rest for a few. I'm actually going to move it this way for a minute. Uh, okay, we clean those. We're going to do some birthday cake. I might just use my picking up tool for that. Um, that one is pretty blue. And the mica. Actually, I think I might do another color with that. Let's see what we have. Sorry, I'm off screen. Mm, not quite. Holographic gold? No, I'll take it off. White. I'm glad you can't hear those noises. I'm thinking grass too. Or maybe just some white. Um, Alcohol paint, maybe? I'll take that one off. I don't really have a cool teal color. Guys, so I have this white and this red and it is black. Could even be black. Yeah, okay, that would be cool. Black, white with the mica and like a glitter swirl. Do the glitter birthday cake first. So, what I'm gonna do is, is um, pour a little bit um, of resin in here. Skirt, probably a lot. And then a little bit in here for the blue, and I'm going to use that on probably a letter. I like that. And then I'll use the rest um, on the circle, because I don't, I don't know if I'll have enough for the bangle, but we'll see. Get some of this off. Hey, everybody. Yay, I finally have people. I was like, there's no way that no one wants to watch me, but yay, thanks for joining. Okay. No cups today, Karen. I'm doing some resin molds. So I have these, uh, this is going to be a, key, a circle keychain, um, this is a bangle, you can't really see it, and then a, a few letters, and we're going to see how they come out, so. It doesn't take a whole lot, um, but you still want to see the part of the, the resin kind of see through, it gives it a cool effect. Might need a little bit more there. I like these dot glitters, they're pretty cool, fun, fun looking. I love glitter too! It gets everywhere, and it's impossible to get rid of. I find it in my dog's hair, on their, um on their feet. I find it outside, I find it in my car, um, but it makes everything pretty and happy, so no complaints here. Okay, so there we go. Pretty dots. Looks cool. And I got this blue. Try not to get it everywhere. I'm going to open the lid and tap just a little bit in. See how much, see how that looks. I'm going to mix it. Stoop, stoop. Amy, I'm making um, some circle molds for keychains um, and a few letters in these silicone molds. And that looks pretty, nice and sparkly blue. Looks like a frozen colors. So that mixes up real well. And I'm using my Mr. Nola's glitter. Um, and the dots are myglitteraddiction.com. Surprisingly, um, not that expensive to more, more or less um, the quality that you get from, from buying it. So no harm, no foul. Okay, I'm gonna let this heat up just a bit. But not too much. 
Hi, Mom. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's do, how about an A? Or no, let's do a C, because that's kind of easy. <laughs> and I already cleaned that spot, so. If your name starts with a C or ends in a C, I will give this away for free. Okay, so what you do first is you take a little bit of resin. Um, let's see if I can get, you can get this to inject or suck up stuff. Well, it looks like it might have. Can you? Nope, didn't do a thing. Oh well. Okay, so I'm gonna take my tiny popsicle stick. Share my video and tell them I'm giving away things. Um, let's see. Should I do C, P, or S? Ready? Go. Mm. Okay, P it is. Or right, let's do a K. That would be cool, and it would be a cool keychain. Uh, so what I do is lay down just a tad bit um, of regular clear. Oops. Oh, I'm making a mess. That's okay. You can always scoop it back up. Mm, such is my life. I'm going to trade off gloves. Callan says S. Okay. Too late. I did a K. K for Kate's, right? Ha ha. Hi. I like pie too. I'm trying to get my live on the phone so I can see the comments. But it's not working. There it is. Yay. All right. So I'm going to close that glitter so it doesn't get contaminated. Put on another glove and take a sip of water. And grab more popsicle sticks. Okay. So we can see better. Here's the K. Um, what I'm going to do is mush this around just a little bit. And this kind of gives uh, some old something to hold on to when I pour the other colors in. At this point, if I had any cute gems or little trinkets to throw in here, I would do that, but I don't I don't know where they are. So it's just clear. At this point, if you want to throw some dye in there, that would be cool too, but I don't. I'm going to hit it with the heat gun just a little bit, spread out some of that resin. Hmm, all right, and then I'm thinking polka dots on the top. So here we go. Keychains um, cost, I don't know. I haven't actually sold any. Um, I usually just fill the molds with extra, um, whatever extra resin I have from the cups. Um, but I would say maybe five to seven, depending on the size of the, um, the keychain itself and how many glitters and stuff are in it. That looks awesome. Oops. And you want to fill a good amount in there, um, just so we can see the, the polka dots. And whatever, if you have any, um, stragglers like that hang off the side, you can always just sand it down. Um, as it's starting to cure and uh, or sl slice it off with an exacto knife um, that way um, uh, You get smooth edges and a nice clean finish So you want to fill most of that up which it looks like it is and then let it hang out for a second and then we'll do the blue part And if you don't use all of your um, Mixed colors at the same um, at, off the bat. You can always just go in and add another mold. So no big deal. Here goes the blue. And these, since these are inverted, um, all of the colors and things you want to sink towards the, the front of your um, mold so that uh, all the prettiness is on the, on the front side. And you can do it on the back side too, um, but that's where that clear layer kind of helps you out. And if it, you don't get enough color in, um, in your mold as you're working through, you can always um, add a little bit of, of dye or resin, I mean, uh, resin dye or um, Paint like acrylic, you can mix acrylic in your resin and get a pretty color out of that. Cool, I think that's gonna look awesome. And we're just about full, I don't want to put too much more, um, but I'll start mushing it down so that the colors blend and look pretty. And then you have the cool dots on the top. And I think we have enough for another um, keychain, so I'll go ahead and do the S. And wipe off my edges. I don't like make them, you know, publicly, I guess. Um, but if everyone's interested, I would definitely sell them because they're a whole lot easier than cups, that's for sure. All right, so we have the pretty cool K. It's kind of hard to see, but bam, it's going to cool, come out really cool looking. Add a little bit more of the dots on the back so it pops through um, and you can see them in the back uh, of the keychain too. I want to do both sides. Bam, like emerald. Sweet. It's going to look very cool. All right, let's do another one. Um, since Callan volunteered an S, we'll do an S since it's right below it. So let me clean that out real quick. Take my pinky. Get some alcohol clean out that thing. I'm going to do the same thing but inverted. Let's do, oh wait, I forgot to clear at the bottom. Doesn't need a whole lot, just a smidge. Then 
I'm like, I love this resin because it gives me a 45 minute working time so I can be slow and still come out with a pretty product. All right, this is starting to thicken. So what I'm gonna do is grab a little bit of, um, ow, sorry guys, I just smacked my head. Uh -uh. No, did I? If I can reach out. Not die, this is blue paint. I'm gonna take the edge of my little thing right here. That should be more than enough paint to get that pretty little blue color and still be able to see the glitter. Bam. And it'll give it a little darker color. Um, kind of emphasize that pretty blue, ice blue um, from Mr. Nola's. All right. The S is going to be tricky, but we're going to... Ah! Don't mess it up. Okay. Not too bad. But I was going to go everywhere. And this stick, oh my god, is a lifesaver. You can poke, poke around. Thanks, Dana. K for kitchen, or I don't know, K for Karen, K for Kate, K for Kate. I had to do something. I couldn't stand not having anyone at home to talk to besides my boyfriend. No offense. Um, he's playing video games. So I said, hey, why not just go and talk to uh, the people online? I did a YouTube video a few years ago of uh, one of my cut tutorials, and it got like super popular. It's got like over 500,000 views, I think. Um, and so, that made me super stooped and I kind of wanted to do another one, so I might take this um, and do a voiceover instead of my blabbering and put that back on YouTube and see how it goes. Bam. Okay, there's that blue and then, wow, this went way farther than I thought it would. I'm gonna heat this up again. <laughs> Heating helps it just to get kind of liquidy again, and, uh, but it also, if you heat it too much, it'll start to cure. So uh, you want a nice fine in between on that. So we'll slowly pour this into the S. That's cute. And then again, mush down because you want the pretty side to go on um, both sides of your mold. But I don't want the blue to go down too far. A nice swirly look. That'll be fun. And then these take about six hours to start actually curing all the way. Um, so at that six hour mark, I'm going to pop them out the molds. They'll be bendy, um, but I'll still be able to get the the eyelet in there and the eyelets again look like this so you just stick them in wherever to make it look cute and then I have these like little tassel guys and you put the little tassel and it'll be really cute and you can hang it on your keys okay I think that one's good enough let's wipe it off and get to the cool one that I've been wanting to do which is the circle all right so I'm gonna set that to the side and again change my gloves And I don't know how much of a delay there is. There could be 30 seconds, could be 10 seconds, I have no idea. All right, I'm gonna move this um, mold thingy out of the way. Obviously keep it level so we don't um, get a crooked decal, or I mean a crooked uh, litter. Okay, let me clean off my stuff, 91%. Bam, bam. All right, now we're ready for the cool stuff. All right, I'm kinda nervous. Let's see what we can do here. So we have our mold, bam, circle. We have our pretty Mr. Nola glitter. This is called Iberville. All of their glitters are named after really cool things in New Orleans. So bam, it's kind of upside down, backwards, inverted, whatever. Um, and I kind of swore I had it in a shaker, but I guess not. I have casting craft and a little light resin dye. Um, this is some potent stuff, a little bit goes a long way. I'm talking like a pin prick size. And I'll heat this up just a little bit, not too much, because we don't want it to cure. Okay, so the main part I want um, is the cool shiny blue. So we're gonna pour most of our color Oh, goodness. I hope you guys can't hear that. If you can, sorry. He is having a blast. Okay. Pretty blue. This will be pretty chunky silver. I think I'm going to need more. I forget how thick this mold is. And if it turns out super duper ugly, you can always cover it with vinyl and just leave it as a peekaboo um, and leave out some negative spaces in your um, vinyl and it'll come out super cute. Anyway, he's playing Sea of Thieves, so I think he's streaming as well if you want to go check him out. <laughs> and then one for black. We don't need a lot of black, like hardly at all, so I'm going to go boop. Maybe just a little, another little boop. And then the rest will be white, which again, I still don't think will mean that much, so... 
scrape the sides and get all that pretty expensive resin. And let that hang out for a sec. I'm gonna change this glove. I got fuzzies on it. I change my gloves quite often just because I don't want sticky resin all over everything. And um, anytime I touch something that's got cloth, like my pants or my face or anything that could carry some kind of fuzz, um, I change my glove because if you get any kind of dust in your glitter, I mean dust in your resin, it's not fun. So fresh gloves, especially on cups. Okay, so this is gonna be cray messy. Shiny, sparkly, holographic, rainbow. Ooh. That's actually a Michaels brand glitter. We're gonna go do with the teeny tiniest amount of black dye with my little pin thingy. And that's like literally get just the tiniest little pin stick. And then ta-da, it's black. And not opaque black, like not transparent at all black. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mel. Cast and craft. Ooh, I'll shake it. Um, it's a. This is a, um, a color shift glitter. Um, it's a dark, like navy bluish, and then a turquoise green. Um, kind of like mermaid color. I know it's kind of hard to see, but um, it's very pretty. And it even has like a purpley tint. So we're gonna open this on the side so I don't poof glitter everywhere. Whew. Too late. Did it anyway. I have a glitter scoop somewhere. Just pour it in. That should be more than enough. Ooh, ah, sparkly. Anyway, it's starting to thicken, so I gotta hurry. Why did I have blue paint on my gloves? Ooh, this looks so cool. And this color shift is cool because depending on what color base you put um, the glitter on is the color that it'll kind of reflect off. So if I put this on a white base, it would be more turquoise. If I put it on a black base um, or a, um, a blue base, it would be a more darker purpley, like black um, color shift, which is pretty cool. I like it. Okay, let me mix this guy. Ooh, yeah, it's starting to get hot. Pop bubbles also. Whoops. Awesome. All right, here we go. Oh, I forgot to wipe. Crap. Again, doesn't take a whole much, a whole lot, <laughs> rather. And since we're going to be kind of swirling this all together, we don't need um, to worry about the gloves too much anymore. I mainly just didn't want white and black dye in my pretty glitters and colors. And obviously, I don't know if you know, but um, you always do your um, darker colors first and then light, light colors after. Depending on what colors you're using. So if you're gonna do an ombre, you would do um, your white. So if you wanted to do white to gold, um, you would do your white all, all the way first, and then you would throw the dark uh, gold glare on, on the top. So that way, if you make a mistake, all you gotta do is add more dark or mix them together and throw them in the middle and you have a perfect ombre. There's some glitter in here. But it's the glitter we're using, so no big deal. Okay, so I'm thinking kind of a G-O-D look. And there's no right or wrong way to do it. And it's all gonna have to roll together anyway, so. But just remember the design in the middle doesn't worry, it doesn't matter so much as the design on the top and the bottom, um, because that's where you'll see the front and the back of the, the mold. Hi, Melanie. Okay. Um, And again, this is going to swirl with a Q-tip, I mean not a Q-tip, a um, popsicle stick. So it's going to look really cool, hopefully. I'm a little, little worried about the black just because I know black takes over everything and I don't want that to happen. So but we'll see. Maybe just a little bit. I don't want to use a bunch. All of a sudden, it's having a blasty blast. Oops. Um, alcohol pops bubbles and fills in any empty space you might have. It is fun. It's messy, but it's fun. 
clean my lamp so you can kind of maybe see better. So far, it looks pretty cool. Let's lift it up so you can see. Bam. I'm gonna add more, um, more of the cherry glitter. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is swirl it. Hi, Granny. You know I'm working on your red bird cup. It's um, it's over there, in out of the frame. But I'm working on it. This is a resin keychain mold. Trying to turn down some of the bright light just so you can see better. Yeah. Ooh. Very cool. I think it looks cool so far. Add more cheap glitter. And most of this will float up since this is a pretty thick mold I'm just gonna use all of it it looks like we're covering it up but we're not yes more white just a second the colors all, all mix all together and then it's all mushy looking and I'm scared to add more black There's a little bit left in here of the glitter color. Cool, that should be plenty for that. And then we'll use the rest of this cool holographic. Hopefully spread it out so that it doesn't sink all the way to the bottom. Swirl in some of the white, swirl in some of the black. And it'll come up looking kind of geo-y. And hmm, scrape out the rest. It's starting to get hard, so it's I think that's gonna look cool. Alright, gotta clean up a mess. All you gotta do. And that's pretty much it. Um, I don't. Let me see if I have a finished one. I don't think I do. I might have thrown it away by accident. It was a test. Oh nope, it's here. Now you all can see. This one I forgot to put the eyelet in, but it's pretty. This one has little hearts. And I did the pink and some teal. And it came out really cute. Um, you can if it if it hardens, and you still did, forgot the eyelets, you can always use it. Whoops, use a drill, and and drill, drill out your um eyelet hole. Okay, that's pretty much all I had enough resin for. Um, I think everything came out super cool. I'm um, gonna give away um one of each of the things that I made. So that would be the the cool circle guy, the K, and the S. And once they um once they dry, I will pop them out and show you what they look like. I think they're gonna be really cool looking. And on this one, we could um, let me try and lift it up so you can see better. My hands are sweaty, so I can't get my glove on. My room has to stay above 76 or 75 degrees, um, so that it's easier to work with the resin. Yes, 
yes, a tassel will be included, and um, you can either choose a key ring loop, which looks like... I have a couple different kinds. So I have this um, mini lanyard, so you can have that and hook it. And then I have these just regular old keychain circles. And then these um, are the same thing, but uh, different colors. There's a gold, um, a brass, or orons, um, and it's a thinner type keychain. So take a pick. I don't know how I'll decide who gets what. Um, I guess uh, I'll do a drawing or something, or one of those automated things online. Um, if you uh, thumbs up this video, I'll count you in in the giveaway. And it'll come with um, one tassel, if you want. So I have the leather ones. And, and then I have these little um, frilly um, fabric ones. There's like a rainbow and a bunch of different colors. So I think they'll be cute. The rainbow would be cute with the, the polka dots. So your choice. Well, I hope I wasn't too terribly boring. 